Seventh grade, unit two, lesson two, introducing proportional relationships with tables. There are a couple key glossary terms in this unit. The first term that you need to know is constant of proportionality. In a proportional relationship, the values for one quantity are each multiplied by the same number to get the values for the other quantity. This number is called the constant of proportionality. In this example, the constant of proportionality is 3, because 2 times 3 equals 6, 3 times 3 equals 9, and 5 times 3 equals 15. This means that there are 3 apples for every 1 orange in the fruit salad. The second important term that you should know is proportional relationship. In a proportional relationship, the values for one quantity are each multiplied by the same number to get the values for the other quantity. For example, in this table, every value of P is equal to 4 times the value of S on the same row. We can write this relationship as P equals 4S or P equals 4 times S. This equation shows that P is proportional to S. Number 1. When Han makes chocolate milk, he mixes 2 cups of milk with 3 tablespoons of chocolate syrup. Here is a table that shows how to make batches of different sizes. Use the information in the table to complete the statements. Some terms are used more than once. A. The table shows a proportional relationship between blank and blank. The table shows a proportional relationship between cups of milk and tablespoons of chocolate syrup. B. The scale factor shown is... The scale factor shown is 4, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 4 is 12. C. The constant of proportionality for this relationship is... 3 halves, or 1 and a half, because for every 1 cup of milk, there's 3 halves, or 1 and a half, tablespoons of chocolate syrup. D. The units for constant of proportionality are blank per blank. The units of the constant of proportionality are tablespoons of chocolate syrup per cup of milk. Number 2. A certain shade of pink is created by adding 3 cups of red paint to 7 cups of white paint. A. How many cups of red paint should be added to 1 cup of white paint? 7 cups of white paint divided by 7 cups of white paint equals 1 cup of white paint. And 3 cups of red paint divided by 7 equals 3 sevenths cups of red paint. B. What is the constant of proportionality? Since there's one cup of white paint for every three-sevenths cups of red paint, the constant of proportionality is three-sevenths. Number 3. A map of a rectangular park has a length of 4 inches and a width of 6 inches. It uses a scale of 1 inch for every 30 miles. A. What is the actual area of the park? Show how you know. On the scale drawing, or on the map, the length is 4 inches, and the width is 6 inches. Since it uses a scale of 1 inch for every 30 miles, the length of the actual park is 4 times 30, and the width is 6 times 30. The length of the actual park is 120 miles, and the width of the park is 180 miles. To find the area of the park, we have to multiply the length times the width, or 120 miles times 180 miles. 120 times 180 is 21,600, so the actual area of the park is 21,600 square miles. B. The map needs to be reproduced at a different scale so that it has an area of 6 square inches and can fit in a brochure. At what scale would the map need to be reproduced so that it fits on the brochure? 
show your reasoning. What this is saying is that 21,600 square miles needs to be represented in an area of 6 square inches so that it will fit in a brochure. Take the area, 21,600, and divide it by 6, and that would be 3,600. Since 60 times 60, or 60 squared, equals 3,600, the new scale would be 1 inch to 60 miles, or 1 inch for every 60 miles. Number 4. Noah drew a scaled copy of Polygon P and labeled it Polygon Q. If the area of Polygon P is 5 square units, what scale factor did Noah apply to Polygon P to create Polygon Q? Explain or show how you know. On the left side is Polygon Q with an area of 45 square units, and on the right side is Polygon P with an area of 5 square units. I labeled a length on Polygon Q 3 units, and I labeled its corresponding length of 1 unit on Polygon P. To go from a length of 1 unit on Polygon P to 3 units on Polygon Q, that would increase by a scale of 3, so the scale factor is 3. Number 5. Select all the ratios that are equivalent to each other. Let's start with the ratio 4 to 7. 4 times 2 is 8, and 7 times 2 is 14. 4 times 3 is 12, and 7 times 3 is 21. 4 times 4 is 16, and 7 times 4 is 28. 4 times 5 is 20, and 7 times 5 is 35. Now select all the ratios that they provided that are also in the ratio list that I created. A, 4 to 7, C, 16 to 28, and E, 20 to 35. 